Hello guys, this is your reading for September. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope everybody is doing well. And we're going to just jump right into this after a few shuffles, guys, okay? Taurus, what's going on in love for Taurus for the month of September? Ooh, okay. Taurus. Ace of Swords. Something within you is telling you that you already know the truth about a situation. You don't need anybody to tell you um, what they think you want to hear um, to try to sway you. It's like you, you innately know what the deal is without anybody having any input. Okay, there, there's a situation that you guys feel like, you know, has been revealed to you. You know the truth about it. Okay, you're not left in the dark. You're not wondering. Um, you're, you're quite content right now because your, your mind is clear. Your mind is clear, and you can start over. There's something that you guys want to, to do to begin here. What's crossing Taurus? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy there. Pisces with the hangman. Could definitely be a Pisces individual that is um, significant for you. For a while you guys have been stuck. There's been a situation involving this this Piscean energy that has been stuck for a while but now I feel like you guys are ready to move forward because you've come to a realization about this situation so you guys are getting ready to have some forward movement whether it's with this person or without this person but we'll see okay what is the underlying issue here underlying issue for Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles. Whether or not you want to remain single. And is that really going to make you happy? Your confidence right now, I feel like, um, is, is not where it needs to be, quite frankly. Maybe some of you guys are coming to coming to the realization that you know maybe it's time to move on to stop waiting around for someone here but you're going to have to in order to move on you're gonna have to resign yourself to just that moving on being single you know realizing that you can do this on your own as a single person Concentrating on your finances, your livelihood, if need be. Recent past for Taurus. Five of Pentacles. I got to sneeze, guys. Hold on. Who? It's there, then it goes away. Sorry. Mm. Five of Pentacles in a recent past. Um, some of you had actually been put out of a home that you you know where you were living with someone for others of you you felt rejected you felt um, hurt by someone but and I, and I think it's because you know this person is really not giving in to the whole ten of pentacles idea with you guys and so it's like you know instead of remaining in this stuck situation where you're kind of just waiting for this person neglecting yourselves um, you're coming to this realization that you cannot stick around any longer it's time for you to do what's best for you <clears throat> Taurus crowning thoughts Taurus crowning thoughts the knight of swords there's something in you that's kind of angry, though, I feel. Um, anxious. And it's like you really want to uh, speak your mind to this individual in one sense. And then 
you know, on the other hand, it's like, you know, I'm just going to let this go. I'm going to move on. Um, there's nothing that this person can tell me that I don't already know. <clears throat> Aquarius energy, I feel there. What's coming in for Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus? Ace of Pentacles, starting over. I feel like this is you guys definitely... Um, concentrating on yourselves as a single person and just really trying to secure your your mundane way of living and not really concentrating on the love aspect to be honest with you now I feel like once you start concentrating on yourselves and you get you know your, your confidence is boosted you start buying things for yourself doing things for yourself then there there's a new opportunity that actually presents itself for you okay once you do that once you let go of this stagnant situation um, if you have to speak your mind um, do it in a way that you can be proud of actually and I feel like that's gonna provide some closure for you guys some of you are looking for closure from a situation involving like an Aquarius Piscean um, type of energy okay <clears throat> how is Taurus viewing this situation oh okay death it's time for it to be wrapped up there's something that needs to change here this is over with but with death it's like it, it's been a long time coming wrapping up this situation accepting the changes that have occurred and I feel that's what you're doing is it's like you you're just letting you know letting this go in order to heal in order to move on because I feel like you've been stuck right here with this person for a while what is the influence for a Taurus Knight of Cups, you want to be happy. You want to do things that make you happy. You want to be involved with somebody that actually is like reciprocating what you are giving or extending towards them. You want to start dating again, falling in love again, having those shared emotions with someone. Hopes or fears for Taurus. five of cups your fear is that you guys do not want to lose in love again you don't you don't want to give your heart to someone and they just kind of crush it that is what your fear is although you want love it's like you know you, you've suffered some loss here in a situation and you definitely don't want to have your heart broken again Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. It's spun around. And then we have justice. Doing what you feel is right and necessary. Weighing the skills. Getting your just desserts. I feel like this is um this is like Libra Scorpio energy here. We have Virgo as well, Pisces, Aquarius again. Um but I definitely feel like you guys will do what you feel like is right for any and everybody involved primarily yourself but if there's somebody that's kind of like pushing you away has been pushing you away or like ignoring you um, I, I feel you guys moving on I feel you only being like involved with situations that where somebody is giving you exactly what you give them you're not gonna waste your time I feel like on someone that's that is ignoring the shit out of you and trying to get them to see you okay what is the overall for Taurus overall for Taurus the Knight of Wands. 
very defensive very defensive you know I'm almost getting the sense that there's somebody that um, you want to talk to but at the same time you feel like this person is going to basically jump down your throat try to hold you accountable for something um, and you're really not wanting to deal with that or face that so to counter that it's like you're not going to even allow them in because you you don't want to you know you don't want the finger pointing is what I'm getting here so I feel like you guys will not continue in a situation because you know you don't want this person saying well you did this and you did this and what are you gonna do and you know just kinda like grilling you so I feel you guys being very defensive um, this month and really wanting to talk to somebody but not really wanting to deal with the repercussions of opening that door to even have a conversation with this person because you I feel you want to I feel you want to but it's like you almost have like blinders on um, and saying that it's best for me to move on instead of addressing a situation here okay so Sagittarius Aquarius Pisces um, Virgo energy is here Scorpio Libra is here okay so that is what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.